Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong and I'm in New York City at the Sony, Sony Media Press event. It's a very exciting time right now because they just released the new Sony A6300. Now the A6000 successor has been rumored about for, gosh, I, I want to say years now because the A6000 was the most popular interchangeable lens camera in the world and it was very popular for many good reasons. Number one being that it was at the time the world's fastest autofocus and that's the key feature about this one now. This one is now the world's fastest autofocus according to Sony. And the reason it is is because it has a 0.05 uh, second capture rate and what's called 4D autofocus. 4D autofocus means that it combines a hybrid between phase detection, which is a faster method of focusing, and contrast detection, which is a more accurate type of focusing. Also, it has 425 focus points. Now, before the A6000 was groundbreaking because it had 179 focus points, over 93% of the sensor image. This one has 425, and it also does a hybrid between contrast and phase detection. So when you put the two together, what happens is, is if you do uh, lock-on flexible uh, lock on expanding flexible auto spot or which one ever it is that will track a subject but also have the phase detection points around it in case the subject moves out of frame you've got yourself a very fast focusing camera uh, the other big news about this is the refresh rate on the optical display uh, on the, vi uh, the display here it's so fast that it looks just like optical and that's what made electronic viewfinders not look convincing. It didn't look like you were looking through optical glass because of the refresh rate. They vastly improved the, the refresh rate on the A6300, so now it's the fastest refresh rate uh, in the world. That comes from the fact that they've changed the sensor design. Now the sensor design is uh, a copper uh, conducting material for the sensor rather than aluminum. Now copper is much faster. This is something we've seen on the RX-10 and the RX-100. RX-10 and 100 had copper to dump the data fast off the sensor. It also had a DRAM, which this one doesn't, but being able to dump the data off the sensor much faster aids the camera in the electronic viewfinder, but also this camera now does high frame rate. You can do 120 frames per second, but also with back capture. And you've seen my videos on high frame rate, you'll understand what a key feature back capture is. It allows you to uh, start your recording after the explosion and then uh, go back and do a very, very high frame rate. Has 4K video, which is a very welcome feature. For those of us that do video, it does S-Log. Uh, S-Log 2, 3, uh, Gamma, but it also has a cool feature that I've seen on the A7S II, which is called Gamma Display Assist. And Gamma Display Assist takes your S-Log, which is a very flat, dull, colorless uh, image. Of course, it's that way to expand the dynamic range later for post-production, but uh, Gamma uh, Display Preview Assist allows you to see the full color and the full contrast while you're actually capturing an S-Log. So it's kind of like shooting JPEG and RAW at the same time, although you can see the, uh, the effects in the display. Also has sound. The sound um, has an XLR compatible hot shoe, but also now has the very cool red little circle here that allows us to capture external audio. And that's huge for video on the A6000. So this is what it is. We are going to have an extended uh, unleash the power of your A6300 coming up very soon where I'm going to tear into this beautiful little baby here. It's going to retail for a thousand bucks and uh, and I'm going to show you how to uh, use all of the all of the cool features on it. Now uh, one thing I, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the A6000 is going to continue in the lineup and they are not going to obsolete it. So this is uh, one step up from the A6000. So you can still get the A6000 like you could maybe get the old A5000, but you can get the 6000 now. The 6300, if you want the extended features like 4K auto recording, the faster autofocus, external audio. So this is kind of positioned in a spot just above that. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Now they... Uh, just announced a G Master series of lenses, which we're also going to be uh, going into detail on. The G Master series, you guys can go, it's okay. The G Master series 
has uh, the lenses that, as professionals, we've all wanted. The 70 to 200 f2.8, the 85 f1.8, and the 2470 f2.8, but now all in E-Series. And what's cool about the G-Master is not only have we gained the stop, but they've done a lot of technology improvements to it. They have a new computer simulation which allows them to model the lens design before they actually cut the glass and make the lens. In, in doing that, they were able to increase the resolving power from what's normal as a 10 to 30 line pairs up to now 50. And one of the reasons that you're going to need more resolution on your lenses is, of course, these new uh, 50 megapixel uh, cameras that uh, like Cam Canon came out with a 50 meg megapixel camera, but the lenses couldn't keep up, and that, that was one of the issues. Um, now, with this one, the new uh, 50 line power resolving cameras, uh, lenses, they can probably go up to like 100 megapixels before they start to see the point where you have the bottleneck in the lens and not the sensor. So, G Master Series uh, lenses have just come up. There's another reason to switch to Sony. Also, one thing I wanted to mention about the new G Masters is they have an 11 blade circular di uh, diaphragm, which makes for a very beautiful bokeh. And what they've done in the computer modeling between the old uh, style lenses and the new ones is they wanted to control the transition between the in-focus parts and the out-of-focus out parts to create a more beautiful bokeh. And this is something that you'll only really appreciate once you start shooting and seeing how beautiful your images are in the out-of-focus areas. Okay, so that is it from um, New York. And this is probably one of the only 6300s in the world. I've got to give it right back to everybody as soon as we're done showing it. And, um, but this is it. So feast your eyes on this baby. This camera is going to really be, again, another disruptive uh, technology. And bravo for Sony for doing this. We've wanted this for a long time. Thanks for watching. And remember, tune into my YouTube channel where we will have upcoming announcements. We're going to be the first ones to be able to cover this in uh, depth in a premium channel. So we're, uh, we're anxiously waiting to get our hands on one of these. But as soon as we do, we are going to tear in and unlock it and show you how to use all of the great features that the engineers have built into it. Thanks for watching.